Hello and welcome back. And that's right, Minis Forum didn't just sit on their laurels, they went ahead and released some new NAS. This is the Minis Forum N5 Max. This is the scale-up of what we've already seen in the Minis Forum N5 Pro in a number of different ways. It, in terms of design, in terms of some of the criticism people had about the N5 Pro and its design and a scale-up of capabilities as well, but we'll get on to that in just a moment. I'm probably going to go for one of the dullest things right now. Lockable trays. I know it's not much, but it's the idea that it was small criticisms like that during some of the original reviews and feedback on the N5 that I went and addressed. Behind me, by the way, is another NAS. Uh, we'll get onto that in just a moment. Now, unsurprisingly, it's still using the very same modular design, but those that have already looked at the Minis Forum N5 will be quite familiar with that pullout mechanism and how things have changed. Now, this is taking advantage of that same AMD Ryzen AI Max 395 CPU, but the changes are as follows. Number one, we're not looking at sodium memory anymore. This arrives with 128 gig of 8,000 megahertz uh, memory already pre-soldered to the board. I know that's not gonna be for everyone. Let's be realistic. RAM prices at the moment are absolutely bonkers. So obviously that's probably gonna be reflected in the price when this system rolls out. But I will say, one of the other improvements that I'm already in love with is the fact that this still has three times M.2 NVMe on the base alongside a massive new heat sink and cool lid system that's really been scaled up there inside. But there's an additional couple of M.2 NVMe's on the other side. But can you see that there in the middle? That little plate there now has an internal PSU, so no more knocking around with that giant power brick there. It's a 250 watt internal, and again, that's a little daisy three pin there at the back going directly inside. Now, in terms of ports and connectivity, the connectivity has been scaled up towards two copper 10 GPE network ports, but alongside that, we've now got 80 gig USB 4 V2. So that's that Thunderbolt 5, but not really Thunderbolt 5 connectivity there. There's also a USB 4 40 gig there on the other side. It's a scale up in a number of ways, and it's kind of, if anything, a more aggressive version of what we've already got to know in the Minis Forum N5. Now, a number of you have been wondering, since the launch of that series, there was another one, wasn't there? There was the standard Minis Forum N5. Now, this has been changed. It has now become the N5 Air. Now, the N5 Air kind of replaces it, taking advantage of that same AMD 7255 CPU inside, Again, this arrives with that sodium memory, but it's not ECC support, it's just like the N5. But the Air version takes advantage of slightly more economical hardware all the way around. Not only does it mean that it's gonna be available, but also it means that those that already felt like they were missing out on not having the N5, they're finally gonna be able to get hold of it as well. It takes advantage of the same ports and connectivity, as I understand, still arriving with that 10 GPE and 5 GPE there on the rear. It is exactly the same, with the, right the way down to the Oculink and the USB 4 connectivity there on the rear. Ultimately, it's showing the Minis Forum is still taking NAS pretty bloody seriously. Now, whether they go above and beyond this, are we gonna see them entering the world of Intel in the world of NAS? We'll have to wait and see. But at least for now, I'm interested to see the scale up of that N5. And hopefully, a year from now, that range will get even bigger. But thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna carry on here at CES, and I'll see you on the next video.